Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cass and in this video we will be talking about Eris in Virgo and what these really practical and rational lovers uh, are about, what, uh, what their turn-ons are, what kind of partners they're attracted to, but also how will Eris transform their lives and how they can find a passion that will fuel um, this inner fire and keep that fire burning so that they can become better versions of themselves. So first of all, thank you so much to all those of you who joined the channel, who subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you do enjoy this content, make sure you comment down below, like, and you can hit the notification button. Eros and Virgo. So Virgo is an earth sign. It is one of the most practical, down-to-earth, grounded, perfectionist sign of the zodiac. It has a tendency to uh, be very much in their heads. It's also ruled by Mercury. Um, so it makes them very uh, analytical and perfectionist. Being an earth sign, Eros being a fire, asteroid, together fire and earth create fuel so it uh, their passions will just help them to kind of fuel uh, their other areas of their lives in a healthy grounded way unlike fire signs <laughs> and that just burn in passion and it's just it's overwhelming and Earth signs have a tendency to be a little more grounded so the sign of Virgo is also represented by the Virgin although I think we may all know by now that Virgos are not as virginly like as they would like to appear. It is an earth sign that is ruled by Mercury, so again, it's happening in the head. They may have a tendency to overanalyze, over rationalize, overthink things, which may take off the heat and not be so in the heat of the moment kind of thing. But earth is also ruling the physical body and these people could have a tendency to be very perfectionist regarding, like I said, their own bodies, the, bar the bodies of their partners. So they will really have to kind of accept their flaws, accept that they're imperfect by nature, uh, and to really drop back into their heart center if the mind chatter gets too intense. This also goes hand in hand with the virgin archetype as they maybe a little shy and very too stuck in their heads. Uh, they may have a hard time to fully let go and fully surrender, making them a little more like overthinking things during the act and may look frigid because of that or may look too shy. It's just because they're too stuck in their heads and it's hard for them to kind of like <sighs> surrender. But that overactive mind and that curiosity and the fact that they're over and analytical and are gathering so much data could also make them uh, prone to want to research sex in a more like researcher mode kind of way to gather a lot of information in order to become kind of brains about sex and know exactly how it works uh, what to do which button to push and so make it kind of logical in a sense. A little like Eris in Gemini, these uh, Eris signs are really turned on by intellectual people. A little less of the schoolgirl kind of ar archetype and more of the hot teacher with a, an innocent air to them. Uh, yeah, and as someone who can also like share with them ideas and share with them knowledge or someone they can share knowledge with, that can really turn them on. They're also very picky regarding personal hygiene and it could be a huge turn off for them to have a partner who doesn't take proper care of themselves, uh, forget about smelling bad and all these kind of things. It's like Eris and Virgo is going to be like, here's the shower or here's the door. There, there, no, there's no in between. They're just not going to have the patience to deal with that kind of BS. They're almost also turned on by people who look like they're right out of the dry cleaner themselves like they came out of the dry cleaning machine and they're like so clean then they smell like soap and like they look also people who look very neat people who look like they take care of, of not only themselves but their all areas of their lives like organized people who take care of their buddies who who are structured who seem like they are organized and like you know have post-its a little bit everywhere and are like yes you know that could be Virgo's types uh, they could also be like into gym people uh, pe or meeting someone at their yoga class or just really people who take good proper care of of their bodies I say about Eris that if we don't have this passion that lights our flame within ourselves we will try and find it in a partner and usually a partner that has similar traits to our own inner fire and our own inner flame 
So what does Virgo's inner flame look like? So they come right after Leo's creative spark and they come to uh, perfect and synthesize all of that fiery uh, creative energy that Leo brought to the, to the table. So they will synthesize, they will gather the data, they will make it look good and perfect and kind of like format ideas and format things. They're also ruling the sixth house, so the house of health, routine, buddies, day-to-day um, -day life. They could want to constantly improve themselves and their lives in order to become more efficient, to become a more perfect version of themselves, take care of their buddies, uh, take care of their health, uh, eating habits, uh, productivity, like, you know, become people who are uh, all about planning and, and being very, very productive and be able to get a lot of things done in their days. They kind of want to always strive to do better and be more perfect and have better ways of doing things. So if that thing is them or their lives or this flame that they found, it's going to be they're not going to want to seek it in somebody else as they have it within themselves and they can always give themselves the proper fuel to go forward. So if that thing to perfect and uh, better becomes them, then they can really build a strong sense of self, uh, of being reliable for themselves and become more healthy and uh, fuller, wholer versions of themselves. It could also have to do with teaching of some kind, sharing their skills, sharing their knowledge, you know, gathering a lot of data, a lot of information and then synthesizing it and giving it back into the world. Uh, that could also help them find this flame they have inside. So really if they can find something uh, where to channel all of these energies, they can really become super productive people, super healthy people, um, and show others how to do the same. So how does their intense sexual encounters work for them and how they get transformed by this? So usually, once again, it will have to do with perfecting themselves, taking better cares of their body, finding ways to be more productive, more efficient. They could usually in the earlier parts of their their lives attract partners that are really critical and picky of their buddies or uh, people that are really perfectionist and kind of outlining their own um, anxiety towards themselves so it will really push them to kind of transform so these could be the kind of people who once their eros is activated uh, and they part ways with that person or for whatever reason they kind of become like a, you know a glow up version of themselves they start hitting the gym they start he eating healthier it kind of these people really will trigger a uh, massive change and transformation in their health routines in their habits in their self-perfecting habits. In the positive, they could also attract partners who will uh, lead them uh, nicely and teach them how to do these things, how to take better care of themselves. Uh, they could attract partners and be, attra like, and be attracted especially to partners who do take good care of themselves. So through these transformative unions, they learn how to center themselves and become more healthy and then be able to share this, these skills and these knowledge this this knowledge with others so that was my video for eris and virgo i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe it would mean the world to me you can also follow me on instagram if you'd like at astrophilo a dash on the next to the o and uh yeah i will see you very soon in another video i love you all so much thank you for being here and i'll see you soon bye